Okay, this is Karen, and in the last two videos, you registered a domain name on GoDaddy and you installed WordPress. Now, to access WordPress, what you want to do is type in your domain name, which mine's chaosmuscleman.com, then you type in wp-admin. That will take you to a screen that looks like this. And in here, you put your username and whatever password that you chose hmm. let's hope this one's it no it's not <laughs> okay let's see if I can just access it the regular way and it should probably just remember my stuff okay there we go alright now it should Remember it. There we go. When you do it for the first time, if you click Remember Me, it should remember you. Now you're on your dashboard. So from your dashboard, you want to click on Appearance and Themes. And in here, you will see the different themes that are available. By default, I believe it's 2012, 2011, and 2010. That's by default. I use the Atalawapa theme. That's what I'm comfortable with. That's what I use. So I'm not going to play around with this and screw up <laughs> my current theme. But what you do is you just there's your managing your themes and if you pick your theme and then you just click your activate All right, so you just want to click on your activate button here on whichever theme you want to use I'm going to direct you to other videos on how to configure 11, 10, or 12 so that activates, that installs your theme and then you just go from there and uh, customize it. So I'm going to point you into other videos that will show you how to customize whichever theme you've chosen. If you choose not to use the Atalawapa. If you do choose to use that, then it's got its own theme options here. And that's how you would set up your theme options is scrolling right down through here and if you choose to use Talawapa there is, are a couple of videos on here that are extraordinary and they're the ones that I used to set up my theme so that's it for this video